Um, Peter, can you talk to us about the money? I know you can't mention how much, but fans, members, sponsors, the fact that you're paying out, the contract paying on Seattle and paying Port Adelaide as well, some people have concerns potentially over that. Um, well, first of the last bit, as I mentioned before, the, the last part of the arrangement with Port Adelaide is, is, is minimal. Um, so I, I wouldn't get uh, too excited about that bit. It's, it's respectful of the position they, they're, they're in. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll honour that, that bit. Yeah. Look, the, the payout of uh, that's involved with Scott, I, I mentioned last time, will remain confidential, but obviously it does have an impact on, on the club. We, that was part of what we had to acknowledge in, in the decision. But I've also said that when we need to make decisions that are for the future of the football club, we will make them and we made one. Should um, Saints, sorry, should Saints fans be concerned about the club's finances right now? No, look, we, we've got a, we've been very open with our model, and it's a, it's a challenging one right now. And when you look at the draw next year and and uh, uh, the stadium return we've got, but uh, we're working very cooperatively with, with the AFL in terms of you know I think they've expressed their their view on the on equalisation moving forward into 2014, 15, and 16. It's an evolving model. Um, we're working with them. Um, we're confident we'll we'll meet the challenges we need, but there are challenges, and, and that's one of the reasons we're you know, we're, we're hoping that members uh, are as excited about about today as we are. There's a lot of good things happening in this football club, um, New Zealand. Um, there's a number. Um, there's plenty of reasons to get excited and get on board, but uh, we need to make all of those those winners. We've we've got challenges in front of us. Um, New Zealand, we've met. We're we're continuing to knock them off, and we're very confident that we've we've got a very very strong football club emerging. Richo, are you comfortable with the um, recruiting decisions that have been made prior to your appointment? And I guess specifically um, the loss of McAvoy and Dal Santo? Uh, well, I, yeah, absolutely, because uh, to, to, be a, to be a coach and come in when a footy club is, from a timing perspective, made a decision that we're, we're going to regenerate, uh, we're going to make sure that we end up with really early draft picks uh, so that we can be in a position to, to challenge and not just be competitive and be around the mark. I, I find that um, really, really exciting and I'm, I'm uh, really, really looking forward to it. I, I, I'm not privy to everything that, that happened prior to me being here in terms of the players that you've mentioned, but I'm sure, and, and I've had, uh, you know, I've only been appointed today, but you know, I've had a bit of a chat certainly to, to Chris and there's a, there's a lot of work goes into the decisions that are made. They're, they're, there's, there's some real strategy behind it. It's, it's really clear to see when you've got it all in front of you and, and, and it makes perfect sense. So from an opposition perspective, uh, purely on field, where do you think St Kilda most needs to improve? Um, I look at the, certainly my focus will be in, in all areas. I, you know, offence, defence, uh, you know, stoppage, clearance, contested footy, call it what you will. The reality is the teams that win uh, are really good in all of those areas. Um, I'll be very much wanting our guys to play a style that will stand up ultimately in September. Um, and every footy club and every footy coach would be very similar there. And, and I have no doubt that it's the program and the coaches, not just the coach, that, that will make that happen um, with the support and the stability of a really strong administration. So, um, uh, yeah, that's where I see it. And what's, the, last couple of what's the length of your appointment? That's three years. Alan, how far along do you see St Kilda's development? Uh, are you starting from scratch with this group, or do you sort of see that Scott Waters and the previous football department have established uh, some grounds for you? Oh no, certainly, certainly, you know, guys that were given opportunities this year. Um, you know, we played uh, from Port Adelaide perspective, played against the Saints. Uh, you know, later on in the year, and some some of the performance from the younger guys. Not for us, obviously, given that they nearly ran over the top of us. And, but but we're, it was really exciting. So from that point of view, there's some, there's some real talent there. There's no doubt about that. Um, going to end up with, you know, picks three, eight, nine, nine. And there's going to be some real talent coming to the footy club. Um, but whilst, the, whilst it's exciting from them in terms of the young players, there's some incredibly impressive leaders at the footy club. Uh, you know, Hayes, Montagna, Rewald, obviously. And, and they'll play a really, really significant role in terms of not only uh, the performance on field, but the, the, the development of our younger guys from a from an on field perspective, but also from a cultural perspective. And, and their influence will be really significant. Alan, it's a, it's a massive task. Do you do you feel like you're taking on the most challenging job in the AFL right now? Uh, I, I haven't analysed every other job. Um, I, I, the reality is that you don't you don't get a job when something's not working. Um, and uh, and it's not really an industry. Certainly, well, I know it's not an industry. Where you can you can pick and choose. Uh, there's there's only 18 jobs. 
Um, I can only tell you how I feel and, and, and I reckon I've said exciting about 50 times already today so I might have to find another word but I, that's, that's the way I feel. I, I, um, I'm really, really passionate about, about working with this group of players. Um, I, I can, you know, just through speaking to the, the other coaches and, and to Chris etc, uh, you know, they really want to do something about, you know, where they've been the last couple of years and, um, and for someone like me to be able to get hold of a group that's in that, in that mindset is... Um, is potentially really rewarding. We might wrap it up there, guys. Uh, just got some vision opportunities through the gym, so we'll just.